Hello, this is KC from KC Grandpa Tech, where your geeky ki grandpa talks tech and much more. Listen, uh, all of us have cut a lot of pictures, a lot of stuff, a lot of data that we need to back up on a USB drive. Or like me, I have a, a desktop, I have a laptop, I have a, I have a tablet, and constantly moving data back and forth because I'm on the go all the time. Now, I've been, for years, I've used the scan disk or a verbatim or some other type of USB drive. Uh, but, you know, when you get into the higher capacities, one terabyte and more, they get pretty expensive. So I was looking for something to try to save a few bucks. So I found on eBay for $17 this two terabyte USB drive, which they touted as, you know, can do everything you wanted to do. Really nice. It's a nice aluminum case. You know, uh, USB-C plug to plug into it, plugs into your standard um, USB port. Sounded good. And for $16, could I go wrong? Now, this is where the rubber met the road. And that's here. One of the differences between something like this and something like this was the the data transfer rate on a standard USB is somewhere between 300 to 500 megabytes per second. Also, the difference is the type of controller that's in here, because you're going to have your memory storage, and then you're going to have a controller which interfaces that storage. Okay, but would not advertise until I looked closer. Is this thing has a 100 megabytes per second data transfer rate, or so they spoke. But here's where the problem came. When I plugged it in, okay, it says 1.8 terabytes formatted, no problem, okay. So I transferred a couple photographs over, slow. Um, then I want to transfer a couple of video files, and that's immediately where the problem arises. Uh, it couldn't do it. Like I said to you, one of the biggest differences between all of these USB storage devices is the controller and the memory. How is it storing the memory inside? Okay, is it storing in, in rows or whatever it's doing? As soon as we got to store, try to store more than one video file at a time, it immediately fail, fail, fail. Okay. Well, maybe it's just the size of the file. So I tried sending one video file over to it. And after it was a three minute video, it took almost 45 minutes on a USB 3.1 to get there. All right. Then I tried to read the file from the USB drive directly. Remember, we're still plugged into a USB 3.1. Can't read it, can't read it, can't read it, crashing, crashing. Copied it back off onto the computer. It read it. So it did save, it did store the data, but the problem was that the interface, the controller chip, that's on these drives isn't worth two cents. And you can tell by the price. I mean, I thought for $16 it might be a bargain. I mean, they had the right type of case uh, and all of that. But for storing data, absolutely useless. So when you're considering buying a USB drive for your computer to save your pictures or data, don't go cheap. You know, go with a name brand. Go with something that has... Uh, reputation. I also noticed the transfer rate. One, it's not the USB 3.1 socket that it goes into, but it's the transfer rate. And like I said, this one was its flash memory at 100 megabytes per second, which is dead slow. I did a final test on it, just tried to transfer a, a, my entire photo library over to it because it had the storage. Uh, eight hours later, it did store did take that information over eight hours 
unbelievable. At any rate, so this is Casey from Casey Grandpa out. This was a quick product review of a 1.8 terabyte, $17 unit, which um, stay away from that. Don't even waste your time. Don't waste your money. Spend a little bit more money on a better drive. You know, one that's got a, a, a used to, uh, and watch the transfer rate. One of the most important things that you can do is the transfer rate. Well, it should be at least 300 megabytes per second or better. A good US a scan disk USB drive 3.1 should transfer at 500 megabytes per second using th uh, USB 3.1. So again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. This was a quick video um, about <laughs> some cheap products that are out there. Be careful. And until next time, this is Casey from Casey Grandpa Tech out.